Okay, so today we're going to talk about bloat. This is one of our feeder calves you can see here. There's quite a bit of bloat in this calf. Um, so we're going to talk about the causes of bloat. So there's two different types of bloat, and the primary type of bloat is frothy bloat. And with that type of bloat, what happens is in the rumen, so they have feed, right? All of the air bubbles are trapped in that feed and they can't burp it out, which is what we call eructation, right? So what happens is that all of those bubbles get stuck between all of those feed particles here in the rumen. You can back up, Wyatt, so you can see everything. And they can't burp it up, all right? So that's the primary type of bloat. Secondary type of bloat is free gas bloat. So you'll have all of this feed in the rumen and then all of the gas will be free up in here. And a lot of times if you listen to it with a stethoscope, you'll hear it ping really, really high. And that's a type of free gas bloat, which is likely what we have in this calf here. Um, bloat can be very life-threatening for these animals and needs to be treated pretty quickly. Um, and so in this calf today, we're gonna pass a tube down into his rumen. Um, another thing you need to look for when you're looking at your, your bloat is which side of the animal it's on. It's most typically when you're standing behind them gonna be on the left side, because this is the side of the body that the rumen lives on, okay? So I just use a cheap tube from the hardware. Are you looking at what you're recording? Um, and I just take a drill and, and drill some holes in the end of it, and then make sure it's long enough to reach all the way down into the rumen. Um, let's try to pass this tube. I wonder what it sounds like. Do right, you want to get in here and tail them for me? Yeah. I wonder what it sounds like. Ready to smell it? No, I wonder what it sounds like. Do you want me to hop in there? No, nope, you're good. Just keep recording the whole thing. That's been recording the whole time. And then we can watch it, do it so you can see the uh, air come out, okay? So what I'm going to do hey. is I'm going to pass hey. this tube into this calf's mouth. A lot of times I'll use a PVC pipe too. Kind of help it pass so I don't chew on it and I don't get a hole in my tube. Head nice and straight. Calf's chewing, which is a good sign. Let's see if we can get the sound of it when it comes out. Keep pushing it down. Can you guys hear that? I can feel it on my can hand. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? Oh. <laughs> and I can feel it going can down. Can you see the calf back end? See all the air coming out? Hear that bubbling sound? I can hear it. Like, I can feel it coming out. Can you feel it going out? I feel like it's going down. Instant relief, right? Pepto Bismol? <laughs> so this was probably just a free gas bloat in this calf because it came off pretty easily. If it wasn't, I might have used, say, a, a bloat treatment or you can use like a mineral oil or anything like that and you pass it down the tube. And that will basically pop all those bubbles in that rumen, in that, in that mat that's holding all of those bubbles. It'll pop them all and then all the gas will come to the top and then you can pass the tube again and pass that gas off like we just did. Okay, so pull this tube out now. Did you just put that down there? You didn't have to like really guide it, did you? Nope, just had him swallow it. So just like that, we treated this bloat. We're gonna keep an eye on this guy. Um, what caused this bloat today was probably a feed change. Um, we've had our, our feed change in the last couple weeks due to issues with getting uh, distiller's grains and things like that. So it was probably just a change in feed that caused this bloat. Um, usually with a free gas bloat, you're only gonna see it maybe one to two animals. If you're dealing with say a frothy bloat on pasture um, or in a feed lot, you're probably gonna see it. You can often see up to a quarter of the animals. So, so. All right, well, we will keep you updated on 